Hey, good morning. This is Reg Kelly with Table in the Wilderness. We got a clip today for you. I want you to listen real careful to it. It's entitled "Why Men Sexually Harass and Predator Women." Why men would sexually harass and predator or abuse women. I want you to keep that title in mind this morning. I want to ask you a few questions. Of course, everybody knows in the news here recently, there's been a lot of uh, information about this. We've seen even a refers back to the Clinton days and the Mona, Mona Lewinsky stuff and Harvey Weinstein and, of course, Matt Lauer now and Charlie Rose and on it goes. John Conyers, he just resigned from Congress. And, of course, Trump, he was... Uh, hit with that during the campaign. Uh, Al Franken, uh, he's, uh, you know, turned out not to be, you know. anyway, and then Judge Roy Moore, and all, been all these accusations, and I believe uh, some of them are true. I don't believe some of them are true. Just, uh, you know, uh, the Lord knows, we don't know. But the fact is, irregardless of what your position is on all this stuff, there is a lot of it that's went on. King David did it with Bathsheba. I don't think she, you know, there may have been some problems with her, but uh, I don't think she meant for that to go where it, where it did. But anyway, in regards to all that, here's some questions I want to hit you about why men sexually harass women and, uh, or, and or abuse women. Uh, let's ask some questions first of all. Is it because women were seducing them? Is it because women were seducing them? That could have been said, mate, possibly in David's situation with Bathsheba. She was bathing on a rooftop, which is certainly not appropriate. Uh, but I don't believe that's why men harass women. I would encourage you to read the book of Proverbs, chapter 5, 6, and 7. In the book of Proverbs, it talks, especially in chapter 7, talks about a woman who comes out, her husband's gone. She seduces a young man who's void of understanding, tells him that her husband's gone for a certain time. So you don't have to worry about him coming in on you. And she fixes it all up. But the Bible says that her gates are the gates to hell. And uh, many strong men, there you go, many strong men have been uh, taken down by her. But uh, is it because women were seducing or being seductive? No. I don't believe that's why men harass women. Is it because, number two, is it because women dress immodestly? 1 Timothy chapter 2 tells us that women ought to dress modestly, and certainly women ought not dress in a way that shows their, uh, their physical body parts. Men are attracted by sight. They see a woman's cleavage. They see, you know, all the... You, you read 1 Peter chapter 3, and I don't have time to go into that, but I would encourage you, if you've not done that, and take use the authorized version Bible and uh, read uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Read 1 Peter chapter 3. Read Proverbs 31. and uh, But I don't believe that even uh, women dressing immodestly is the reason that these men harass women sexually. Was it because men's physical drives were not being satisfied at home with their wives? The Bible talks in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 about render, tells the husband and wife to render due benevolence one to another and to come together uh, lest they be tempted for their incontinency. Lest that Satan, and it brings Satan, says Satan will come right in on your marriage because of uh, sexual situations, because of not meeting one another's physical drives and desires and that we're to respect one another and so forth. God's word has the answer to all these things, but I don't believe Number one, that's because women were seducing them. I don't believe, number two, that's because women are dressed immodestly, even though they may have. Even if a woman seduced the man, even if a woman's dressed immodestly, and even if his physical drives are not being met at the home, I don't believe those are the core root reasons. I believe those are side issues that can be used. But let me tell you what it is. In Ephesians chapter four, the Bible, chapter five, verse twenty-five, the Bible said, "Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave Himself for it." The reason men cheat, the reason men rape, the men, reason men harass sexually, is because they don't love their wives, they don't love their children, they don't love the women that they're bothering, they don't love their nation, they don't love anybody. You see, if you love people, you won't want to hurt people. You won't want to bother someone. You won't want to harass them. You don't want to commit immorality with them. You don't want to ruin their life. 
It's because men don't love. And particularly married men, they don't love their wives. A man that loves his wife will not want to cheat on her. That's period. You can take that to the bank. That's your real problem, sir. You don't love your wife. The reason you've got roving eyes, the reason you watch pornography, the reason you fantasize about other women is because you don't love your wife. And you don't love your wife because you don't love God. And you don't love your children because you don't love God. If you loved your children, you wouldn't harass other women. If you loved your neighbor, you wouldn't harass women. You wouldn't be trying to bother women. See, that's the real problem. It's love. Not loving your wife. Not loving your neighbor. If you loved that woman that you're at work with that you're trying to you know, hook into sexually, if you loved her husband and loved her children, you wouldn't want to mess with her. If you loved your own wife, you wouldn't mess with her. Your problem is you don't love. And by the way, love is the first commandment. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. He said on these two hang everything, all the rest of the law. And so the real problem is, is old time selfishness selfishness. You live in me world and you don't know what love is. So I want to encourage us men today. Yeah, I think women ought to dress modestly. Yeah, I don't think women ought to try to be seductive, but they're going to be, fellas. There's going to be some seductive women out there. There's going to be some women who won't dress modestly. They're going to show you their thighs. They're going to show you their cleavage. Uh, they're, they're, they're going to, they're, they ain't got any more sense than to do that stupid stuff. But that does not give you nor I the, the right to lust after and to go after other women. The reason they're harassing all, you can see that this nation is full of men who don't love their wives. This Reg Kelly, let me tell you before I go how you can love. By being born again of the Spirit of God. That's the only way I can love. It's the love of God living in us by the Spirit of God you know, enabling us to love our wives and to love others so that we don't do such garbage as that. That's the answer. And that's why Christianity is a million miles above every other faith in the world. Because it's a religion, it's a faith, it's a life that lives within the heart and it creates the desire to please the Lord and to do what's right. And you want to do what's right because you want to please the Lord and because it's the very best for everybody, for yourself and for everybody else. I bet you some of those guys wish they would have not done that now. And if they had love, you see, the power of love will keep you faithful to your spouse. This is Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. Thanks for listening. And we'll be bringing some more clips along. I hope you'll stay with us. And uh, pray for us and love one another. You husbands. And this one, let's love our wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Let's love her. When we love them, not going to have much problem about wanting to mess with somebody else's wife or some other young lady. Until next time, we'll see you. What do you think about this old buck right here? Not bad for just finding one out in the woods, is it? Oh, listen, it's great living out in the wilderness. I like living in the country. Abraham lived in the country. Lot lived down in Sodom. There's something to be learned from that. See you later. Bye-bye.